All right, what's going on? It's Talking Giants. Bobby Skinner here with another Giants free agent film breakdown. Third one, three of three for offensive lineman Matt Gano, Mark Glowinski, and now John Feliciano, who's coming over from the Bills. Apparently, he's gonna be playing center. He's played guard the uh, he played guard last year for the Bills. Lost his job after you know a bout with COVID and a, and a calf inju- injury. Um, ideally for him, I think he should be depth and I know he's brought in the play, play center I don't know we don't know what Nick Gates is but I kind of for me I think he should be insurance on uh on Nick Gates on his health coming back because when I watched Nick Gates before he was injured and John Feliciano Nick Gates is a clearly better player and you'll see it through the film but uh make sure to like and subscribe uh, check out the whole playlist check out the podcast all, all that good stuff and then if you're interested in draft breakdowns they're on the talking football channel so check that out so John Feliciano is a player. He's got good pop. He's got good strength. Um, his feet are heavy. And he's, he's got bad balance. You're going to see a lot of reps. He ends up on the ground. Um, in the run game, he can get good movement, good you know, good movement off the ball. But again, he just it, it isn't always able to sustain those blocks and you know get shed. Does a decent job pulling and stuff, even though he's not the most athletic. And you'll see that in some of the the outside zone stuff. But you can still use him to pull. Uh, out on the perimeter or in a gap scheme, you know, as, as a ki- as a lead bl- as a kickout blocker. In the past game, he's got he's got better pass reps than Mark Lewinsky, but he's got some ugly ones too. So let's get into it. Again, like subscribe. Let's watch the film. So we're gonna go through the pass game first, as always. He's left guard number seventy six, and this is what most John Feliciano reps look like. Good. You know, sets. Hand placement isn't always perfect. Fights them back in. Feet are moving. Good ability, good ability to mirror versus defensive tackles. And obviously, if he's playing center, he's going to be dealing with some slower players even compared to what he's going to see at guard. You know, see this rep versus the one technique. He's got good, good ability to mirror. Good strength. Bam. Pops over. Head to head. Counters outside. Feet are moving. Moving. Hand fight. Good reps. Saw reps. Nuts throw by Josh Allen and, and catch by Dawson Knox. The, these are these are what your your pass reps are going to look like for the most part with John Feliciano. Sets towards it sets on the defensive tackle, shoots the hands. You know, kind of like the opposite of the way Mark Glowinski plays. Bam, shoots those hands, keeps a wide base, feet moving. Wherever you go, I go. Here again. Watch the hands. Bam. Shooting them inside. Good job. Good leverage. Even though he's leaning a little bit. Keep those feet moving. Kick. Kick. I mean, good reps. But he does have some really ugly reps. You know, I didn't put them all in there. But, you know, a rep like this. Where a guy's working outside in. Slow to react. Get some helper from the running back. And then, I mean, this happened a few times on, on these type of reps. Where, look, this defense alignment is, is working around. He's not able to get his feet over quick enough. He's opening his hips at this point, and the defensive lineman, these defensive tackles are able to go around. And again, this isn't a horrible ending to these reps, but that will go really badly. Something very similar. When you got the wide align guy, 4i, who's as hard to quick set, jump set these guys, and they're getting upfield. And this is actually to set up a stunt. Which Feliciano, he can't pass that off. This is a uh, 
you know, and that's why they that's why they aligned uh, him wide. But still, what he can do and how he could pass it off is if he's able to get these feet over, get these feet over instead of set instead of setting uh you know getting depth, get these feet over. That allows Dawkins to uh you know come over and take this over, and then you can peel off. But again, he's able to beat around the corner. Good job by Josh Allen to avoid, but you know that's that's pressure given up. That's pressure given up and a bad stunt pickup. So it's bad on just your one-on-one -on -one assignment and bad stunt pickup. So again, in the pass game, I think he's a better pass blocker than run blocker. Uh, even though his frame might like fit a running blocking better, and, and that could change at center because um, you have those ugly reps. Uh, but you know, it's, it's the athleticism. But you see, you see, he's got good hand fight. The feet, he's able to mirror pretty well. It's about it's about getting into that full man relationship instead of playing half the man with John Feliciano in the run game. Good pop, good start to reps. Just got to be able to sustain him a little longer. This is a good rep though. One two shoots the hands, getting lower than him. Got your helmet under his chin. Keep the feet moving, moving. You're get you're getting ball. You're getting uh penetration. You're moving a guy uh, off the ball. Good stuff. Again, this is read option, but he's got bad balance. He ends up on the ground on a lot of run reps. A lot of run reps. Here we got the run out on this. Good start. One two. Hands are a little high, but not too bad. Slides him down. Keep the feet moving. Not able to get that movement that he wants. If you're not getting that movement that you want on this, you got to try and you know flip these hips around. You know to seal this off, because obviously he gets shot at the end. So if you're sitting here stuck, you're stuck in a stalemate. Flip these hips around, because the likelihood that on this play that the running back is going to be going through this gap is very little. Here, verse 92. Again, good hands, good inside. It's on the back side of the run. But, you know, if this is if this ends up being cut back, you get yourself a nice little hole. But again, flip those hits around, keep engaged. You know, just could do better stuff on that. Here again, he's not the most athletic a guy in the world, but he can pull. He can get out in space, and, and he can be used as a kickout blocker. I mean, this is a really beautiful pull right here, and it leads to a touchdown. You know, pulling is about hitting your landmarks. You get inside shoulder. Now your running back's able to make a play, able to bounce off guys for a touchdown. Open that. Pull the lawnmower. Bam. Go. Go. Move, 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 move. And then you get to celebrate. You get to, you get to do that. I'm sure if there's some... There's got to be some Getty's image of that play... Of that picture right there. For my guy. Here he's out there pulling for Josh Allen. Again, you see not not the greatest athletics in the world. But you can, you can, you can do this with them. You, you're not... Stop from doing this. If you get a better, you know, wham block on this, Josh Allen can, you know, follow this and cut it up. But again, you get a first down. Good job by John Feliciano. Does a pretty jo good job working combos. Again, there's times where he, you know, he ends up on the ground with bad balance and can get a little too over, you know, too ahead of himself against going to the linebackers. But here, good combo to push this guy over here and get his helmet out. Like, that's good. You gave that help. Just go into this linebacker more control. Not all off balance running like, you know, like you're a wide receiver. Keep these wide. Move, you know, be patient. Slow, slow. He'll block himself if you're patient enough on this. And again, this ends up working because he plays inside. 
But if you're if you're if you play this if you slow play this, like if if at this point he's not sprinting, going all out, trying to get a knockout punch, and you duck walk that, well he's gonna play up, and you're able to seal that off, and you get a touchdown. But guess what? You get a touchdown anyways. So I feel like he just needs to be more patient getting to the second level. But he is effective getting to it. Like he's gonna get there, he's gonna get contact, and that's gonna lead to plays being sprung, which the Giants didn't have, you know, the New York Giants didn't have in 2021. They didn't get those plays sprung. Here you see, you know, working the combo. Could do a little better job helping. But you see him, you know, gets this linebacker, springs through, but he's off balance. Just be a little more patient. And and if this running back had jumped this gap, well, he's got a nice hole. He's got a nice hole to go through. Obviously, the linebackers are, are filling accordingly, but like, this is good. Just You don't have to deliver a knockout punch to the linebacker. Like, that shouldn't be the goal. The goal should be to slow play it and just seal guys off. And this is where the athleticism does hurt him the most and why a change to center would help him. Um, it's these wide zone plays. I mean, and this is a hard block to make on the back side. But he's catching. Sorry. He's catching in his chest. And he's just, those feet aren't able to get there fast enough and swing those hips around. Leads to his guy getting, and again, that's a hard block to make. Like when it's done right, it should be appreciated a lot more in the NFL, but it's, it's, it's just a block that's not appreciated as much. And you saw this stuff in the Mark Lewinsky breakdown. If you haven't seen the Mark Lewinsky breakdown, check it out. That's just the kind, that, those are kind of the limitations you have. Here he is on the, on the play side of an outside zone rep. And it starts out well, but it's got to be more in control. And I feel like, you know, when he is in these situations, he's so worried about getting beat athletically um, that he's out of control. Like at this point, keep your feet moving. Get this hand in his hip. Keep those feet moving and put, and fight through. And if you're not able to cross that face, well, just push it. Ends up being a nice little run, sealed off of his and him, but just still not a good rep for John Feliciano. So, at the very worst, John Feliciano is really good depth for the Giants, and you can start him if you need. Like, you know, he was does he was the starter for the Buffalo Bills for the first half of the season, and then uh, you know, had the COVID bout and ended up not not getting his job back. Uh but you know he's started he started a good amount of games in the NFL, and he's worked under he's you know he's played under Bobby Johnson with the Raiders and the Bills. He's got uh, experience setting protections, so I think that is a key of him playing center is someone they can trust to you know grow this offensive line and and be that that cog in the middle to help everyone else setting protections and just knowing what the coaching staff's going to ask. So hopefully he's depth. You know that would be best case scenario. Um, but if he's a starter, it's not the worst, uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. So again, like, and subscribe, check out all the other videos, breakdowns, podcasts, all that good stuff. And, uh, I got a bunch of O-line breakdowns for the draft on the Talking Football channel. Check it out. So again, like, subscribe, see you on the next one. Until then, let's go big blue.